What's up, my nerds? Welcome back to another episode. First nerd on the right. I'm your host, Mr. J. It's just gonna be me today. We got my lovely wife handling the camera today. It's gonna be somewhat of a quicker episode today, right? We're gonna do a little comparison between my three major T-Rexes. I think this would be a very interesting look. Try to have them as side by side as I can. So we're gonna have our AECC 112 scale, our Iron Studios 110 scale, and our Chronicle 19 scale. So let's take a little look at them, try to do a little comparison. Which one's bigger? Let's find out. And just a quick reminder, if you don't mind, please hit that subscribe button. We have plenty of viewers, plenty uh, of people coming by the channel, but we're just not getting enough subscribers. It takes two seconds, help the channel out. Let's get into it. So first we're gonna start off here. We got the Iron Studios 110 scale on the left. You got ECC's 112 uh, T-Rex on the right. As you can see, I have them here basically side by side, uh, kind of looking at each other. Uh, just on first appearance like this, they kind of look very similar in size. Obviously the biggest differences are gonna be the color. Uh, ECC is more uh, the traditional color, whereas Iron Studios went with more of a greenish tint. Obviously, uh, as you've seen before, the ECC's face is absolutely magnificent. The detail is unmatched. Iron Studios, up close, still full of plenty of detail. Still a beautiful T-Rex. Obviously, uh, the biggest difference is uh, this T-Rex is uh, roaring, right? So it has open mouth, uh, still has plenty of dimples, plenty of scales. It looks magnificent. Obviously, ECC's just takes it up to another level. Uh, but size-wise, they look fairly similar. They got a lot of similar details uh, as well. Plenty of wrinkles on the neck, uh, under the neck, uh, face sculpt. And here we're gonna look at it from the top view. And you can start seeing them now side by side. You do see a slight difference now in size. Uh, here, we're gonna have them that much closer. This is directly in front of each other. Uh, Again, Iron Studios left, ACC on the right. And if you can really start looking at that top part of the jaw, right, the top, the skull part, you can see that Iron Studios is still bigger. Uh, you got a bigger, uh, uh, I guess, snout, right, bigger nose area. Um, eyes slightly larger as well. Again, we're gonna look at the top. You can see there that uh, thick-wise, I guess, uh, very similar, but once you get to that brow area, Iron Studios is a bit wider. Uh, of course, uh, as mentioned before, color is very different, but again, we're going to try to get here side by side. We're going to look underneath a bit. Uh, Iron Studios is still bigger. Uh, both look amazing next to each other. Uh, if you put them next to each other, you can basically say one's a male, one's a female, right? Uh, here we're going to have them facing the same way. Again, trying to get you as many angles uh, and views as I possibly can give you. We have Cleo holding the Iron Studios one on the left side, seeing as you can't exactly put them next to each other when they're both on the bases. Now here you can see, again, the big, big difference, uh, open mouth Iron Studios. Even here in the front, you can tell there's definitely a difference in size uh, and they look beautiful next to each other. That, that's some good stuff right there. You gotta love a good T-Rex, right guys? Size-wise, again, uh, looking bigger. Here, we're gonna switch over to the Chronicle Collectibles 1 9th scale. On the right, we have ECC on the left. Again, easier to take the Chronicle Collectible one off the base as opposed to not. Huge difference in detail. ECC is completely blowing the Chronicle Collectible one out of the water. The detail is just, wow, huge, huge difference. At least the Iron Studio one kept it close. The Chronicle Collectible one, definitely rough around the edges, but look how much bigger that head is. We're comparing size and detail here, guys. Uh, Size-wise, that's a very, very large head on the Chronicle Collectible one. Big difference there, both in width, 
uh, length and and just overall size don't get me wrong the chronicle collectible one looks good on its own but if you start comparing it next to other ones it really shows its flaws you can tell here just on the inside of the mouth how much bigger the mouth is on the chronicle collectible one you can basically almost fit the other one inside his mouth as a big mouth so thanks for stopping by my nerds i hope this video was insightful i hope it helped you get a better uh, idea of how they all compare to each other side by side. I hope that if you guys were interested in getting either one of these three uh, T-Rexes or maybe all of them, that uh, this video helped show you how they all compare to each other. I think it's pretty clear, in my opinion. ECC has the best detail, probably the number one Rex right now. The Iron Studios is the bigger of the, all the T-Rexes I have here right now. It's probably the most dynamic one as well. You can't beat an attack pose. The Chronicle one, it's gonna be the least of the two. It has a very iconic pose. You can, you know, final, final scene, the Rotunda Rex, last time you see her in the movie. Can't beat that, but the detail is severely lacking compared to these two. But all in all, all three Rexes are beautiful. They're gorgeous. I love the collection. Can't wait to see what the next one will bring. So thanks for joining us. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I am here for you guys. If you guys want to see anything else, if you guys have want to see any other comparisons or any other takes, make sure to feel free and leave those thoughts in the comments. As you can hear in the background, baby girl Alice is in need of a nap. So. That's gonna be it for today. Come back for the next one, all right guys? See you, my nerds.